He's the teen accused in the Buffalo supermarket massacre in full hazmat gear. He was so terrified of catching COVID, he wore the protective gear when he went to class at his community college. Now Peyton Gentron's family appear to be building a COVID defense, claiming he became paranoid and isolated during the lockdown. He got into some nasty stuff. He's smart enough to get into dangerous stuff online, which maybe the average person wouldn't know how to get into. But the so-called COVID defense is undermined by Gentron's own chilling words posted on social media. His meticulous step-by-step -step planning started three years ago before COVID even hit. He posted his sick plot on the messaging platform Discord, which is controversial because it is not monitored. Gendron says he considered targeting this shopping mall in Rochester, New York, and this one in the nearby town of Greece, as well as supermarkets in Hampstead, Long Island. He choreographed every detail. I've been planning this attack for what seems like years now. Every day that goes by, it feels less like a joke and more real, he posted. When he finally settled on the top supermarket in Buffalo, he decorated his AR-15 assault rifle with the names of other mass killers who are known white supremacists. The video live stream of the attack shows the manager of the supermarket, Christopher Braden, getting shot in the leg. As he crawls away, the gunman approaches him, takes aim, is about to open fire, but then backs away, spares the manager's life, and even says, sorry. Why? because the manager is white. The gunman's other victims were black. We're hearing other harrowing accounts from survivors. 20-year-old cashier Yanya Brown McReynolds hid behind a checkout station. He walked past me twice. I was curled up in a ball at six, register six. I did not move. He walked past me, he didn't realize that I was there. I'm glad that he didn't. Yanya's mother also works at the supermarket. She says that security guard Aaron Salter confronted Gendron winning others enough time to find cover. That was what triggered me to run when I saw him engaging the shooter. President Biden and the First Lady visited Buffalo today to meet with bereaved families. The ideology of white supremacy has no place in America. None. They walked hand in hand to place flowers on a makeshift memorial beneath a tree. The suspect has pled not guilty to a single charge of first-degree murder. More charges are to come.